Milo's Quest is a retro-inspired adventure puzzle game featuring a lovable canine as its main character. But is Milo's Quest a tasty bone you can really sink your teeth into? Or is this one a pitiful puppy puzzler? Milo's Quest is an adventure puzzle game where you're playing as Milo who ends up finding a cursed bone that unleashes an evil and now it's up to Milo to stop it. You'll travel to multiple areas with some different themes, take on some bosses, and destroy the evil that you unlocked once you grab that cursed bone. In order to get through the different areas, you'll have to solve puzzles and take out enemies. The game is a bit Zelda-esque in its design for sure. As you start off, you won't have any abilities, but quickly Milo starts to gain new objects that you'll find in the areas to gain those new abilities, such as being able to scope out a room without having to explore it first, and just getting an idea of what's ahead of you, as well as, of course, the ability to actually attack the enemies via a headbutt. Though, you have a stamina meter as well, so you can't just keep attacking over and over again. Thankfully, both the stamina meter as well as the health meter can be increased as you will find power-ups for these scattered all throughout the different areas, a lot of which you'll have to pay bones in order to unlock. Most rooms in the game contain multiple gates that you'll have to get rid of in order to pass through, and you'll have to explore all of these areas a lot of times to find all the necessary keys to get into the boss chamber and thus the next area of the game. The puzzles that you'll be solving are all the box-pushing style of puzzles, so if you're a fan of that style, you will very much enjoy that aspect of the game. The combat is rather simple, just headbutting the enemies. It's mostly these different ghost-type enemies you'll be battling all throughout the game, some of which more tricky than others being harder to see, or firing fireballs out at you, for example. You always have to be cautious with your headbutt so that you don't end up taking damage yourself and running into enemies. Some enemies can end up getting stuck in the environment and become a bit annoying when you just need to destroy that last one and it's floating in an object, though thankfully it usually only gets stuck for a few moments before coming out and you'll finally be able to finish it off. While the normal game includes both the action as well as the puzzles, you can actually tweak your experience, not only changing one of three difficulties, but turning it to be focused only on the puzzles or only on the action. Presentation-wise, I enjoyed both the graphics as well as the music that played all throughout the course of the game. One of the few downsides to the title, though, is it is pretty short. It'll probably take you uh, about an hour, maybe two hours, in order to get through it. From the technical side of things, though, thankfully I didn't run into any major issues as far as glitching or crashing. Milo's Quest is available on the PlayStation 4 for $4.99. It does include a Platinum Trophy. The game is also available on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PlayStation Vita, and PC. Overall, Milo's Quest is an adorable retro-adventure puzzle game that I think fans of the genre will mostly enjoy. I do wish it was a bit longer, and there was a bit more variety, not only in enemy types, but also in the puzzle solving as well. The game is enjoyable enough that I hope it's built upon and a sequel comes out down the road, but for right now I'm giving Milo's Quest on the PS4 a 7 out of 10. That's gonna wrap up this review though. I like to thank you for watching and of course, I hope you enjoyed.